Hello everybody. Thought I would do a quick video. This is specifically at the request of one of my Twitch followers, Vainho. Thank you for the suggestion to go ahead and do this. What we're looking at is what I've been working on on a Twitch stream, which is our Earth-like base. Specifically, what we are going to be looking at today are these hangar doors. Now, there's a little bit of tweaking I need to do on the timer blocks, but essentially the way that this works is I have these two doors that will close over top of our hangar. All we have to do is we press a button. And there we go. Once that is done, we can then open it back up. And just like that, it is opened up. Now, as far as the actual construction of these hangar doors, all large grid, I'm utilizing two pistons that are stacked on each other. And then they are attached to... We've got uh, light armor slope. Actually, we've got a couple of them. And this, this mechanism here for attachment, you can build with any blocks, just as long as it's coming off of the piston and isn't connecting to anything else. Then you bring it up to what will wind up being the hangar doors themselves. And this is where you can experiment a little bit, make sure that you have the kind of feel and look that you want I'm using half slabs just because they're lighter and cheaper. And then I'm also using these light armor slopes, the two by one by one tips. And what this does is not only make the door lighter, but it also winds up making it, in my opinion, a little bit easier to slide across the ground. I could be wrong. That could just be a placebo effect. But what I wound up doing for the pistons was making sure that when I opened the pistons essentially I started by doing one side and I found my center mark essentially where I wanted the very edge of the door to open up to in this case it was kind of this line here on the conveyor push this all the way out and before I built the entire thing, I just built sort of the skeleton edges of it. That way I had a good idea of what it was going to be size-wise and just how much mass I was actually moving. And then, once I had the first length, I could then open up the second one
and get a rough estimate or a rough idea as to how close to this mark I could get. Once I had that, then I just went ahead and made sure that everything else was lined up the way that I wanted it. And then I did it on the other side and then tried them both at the same time, just made sure it all worked up. Now, one of the things that I do have over here, and this part isn't necessary, I was just making sure that it was going to work correctly, is that I have a rotor that's actually attached to the underside here. And then a one by one wheel attached to that rotor. And then I actually just turned the rotor off. So that way, if it needs to, it can actually roll along this edge. Although fortunately it doesn't need to, uh, but it could roll along this edge unimpeded. There were a few other things that I was doing just to make sure that it was going to work correctly, which I can actually clean those up if I wanted to. But that just gives you an idea of some of the adjustments you can make dependent on the size and build of your particular hangar doors. But the thing that I like the most is that once they close, you get that nice resounding metallic thump. Then on the outsides here, in order to cover up the mechanism for the pistons, I went ahead and I just took a hinge, attached it to the side of the platform, then took some panels and built out these hinge covers. After that, what I did was I ran through the process of closing the pistons. I made sure that they were grouped up, made sure that uh, I could toggle them. In fact, I went ahead and I used a button panel like this and would just you know set them to reverse on a button press. And then I made sure to time it. And actually using a sound block and setting the loop time, there we go. I had set that to 20 seconds just as a general guess. And it turned out to be exactly the amount of time necessary to get these closed. So using a sound loop like that and setting a specific time can help you kind of dial in or zero in how long it'll take for the doors to open. And there you go. Just as a note, on these two pistons, this one and on the opposite side, the, uh, the same type of one, if you set this to have the share inertia tensor, that will actually help keep the doors from dragging on the opposite side. So that side would tend to drag until I turn that on. Now it very smoothly slides across the ground. And that'll just help make sure that everything sits nicely and, and plays correctly. So if you're noticing that uh, the opposite end is having some issues, that is something that you can do. And you can also put these pistons in the center. Um, I had a couple other ideas as to where I might want to put them. But that's up to you. Play around with it. Find out what works best for your situation. And basically just have fun. 
there really isn't anything else to go over uh, if you want a more detailed tutorial like a time lapse or a step by step just let me know i'll see what i can put together otherwise you all have a wonderful day stay out of trouble and remember if you get caught i don't know you have a good one